Hi all, welcome to Night Rips. So we're not going to dive into the Reggie boxes yet, but I did get a few loose packs of Upper Deck, you know, a couple of 1990s and 192 uh, that we're going to open today. So these two 1990 packs, these are actually the low series, you know, not the high series that actually has the potential of the Reggie Jackson. Big difference here is that in these packs, we actually have a chance to win four 1991 season tickets. Actually, I probably, yeah, going to be post park past July 1st, 1990. So uh, we're, I guess we can't get these, but it was interesting, you know, how many of these packs that you can win spring training or whatnot. And then they've just been sitting here for, in this case, 31 years. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what, see what we get inside. Again, remember these these cards can actually get some really interesting errors to them so let's see if we can get any of those also you know you get the you can get the good uh, ken griffey jr card in here it's not the 89 but it's still not bad so we got bud black put this over here bud black for the indians oh that's right we got all the flippy flippy cards Tim Tufel for the Mets. These gotta watch. Like I said, the copyrights could actually be gone. Edgar Martinez, the Mariners. Kirk McCaskill, pitcher for the Angels. Dave Winfield for the Yankees. Kind of not, almost not centered or something. Get real particular when you look at upper deck, early upper deck cards. Tori Luvolo, the Tigers. Sid Bream, the Pirates. Kind of not justified, but we'll get used to that one. Crick Bazio for the Mariners. I mean, sorry, for the Brewers. See the M and uh, we got a hologram. A little bit stuck to it. Nice St. Louis Cardinal here. i make sure I didn't mess up the card. It looks good. BJ Serhoff for the Brewers. We've got a young Eric Davis for the Reds. Steve Avery. Rookie card. That's cool. I've not seen a rookie look like that. But he's Atlanta Brave. Pretty nice. Francisco Cabrera, another Brave. Bob Malecki, Oriole. Mark Langston, Expo. And Mike Smithson. The Red Sox. Okay. It's one nice rookie card, but that's it. Uh, that one. And no error cards. So what so we can get in this one. As I totally ripped the pack to pieces. Of course we get our Handy Danny checklist, number 401 to 500. Can't do without a checklist. Steve Lake for the Phillies. Geronimo Baroa, brave. Dave LaPointe, Yankee. Alfredo Griffin for the Dodgers. Interesting looking shot there. Jeffrey Leonard for the Mariners. Kenny Williams. <laughs> That's way off justification there. But Kenny Williams for the Tigers. Jim Eisenreich 
for the Royals. We get our little baby hologram here. Oh, got a, another pirate. do with the other one uh, what we got Wally Backman for the twins Kevin Mitchell for the Giants Francisco Cabrera and two cars and you got a dupe just got some, uh, got them off. Steve Avery for the Braves the rookie card it's funny we get Two packs, and both of them has those two dupes. Interesting. Bobby Witt for the Rangers. Pity it wasn't Mike Witt, because but he's a high card, but we got to see the, the block, but we didn't. Jamie Navarro for the Brewers. And Chad Krutner. Kruder, sorry, for the Rangers. Okay. So nobody, none of the huge hits that are from that series, but still all nice cards. They're all still well kept up. They said they're 31 years old, so you can't complain. But this is the Upper Deck 1992. Now this version, actually, they did change the card a little bit. And much like the 90s that had the fine Reggie, the 91 that was, the half of it was fine Nolan, the second half was the fine Hank. This one actually is fine, the Williams. So this, there's a chance in these cards to pull 2,500, or one of 2,500, Ted Williams auto, which would be really neat. Now there's also Heroes of Baseball cards for Lou Brock, Roy Fingers, and Vita Blue, with 3,000 of each personally autographed by the player featured. Oh, so there's actually chances of multiple autos in this one and this is the low series one to 700 okay let's see if uh let's see if we can pull any of those autos i wouldn't be mad at any of those oh they made these packs a lot harder to open not quite the paper anymore so let's see what we got Okay, so this is a Diamond Skills, best right-handed pitcher, Roger Rocket Clemens, Major League Diamond Skills. Yeah, I haven't seen any of these cards, so these are pretty nice, actually. Very nice. Of course, they did not they still do the twisty turny. Pete Harnish from the Astros. Interesting that the logos on these two. Kevin Gross, the Dodgers. Scott Servias for the Astros. We haven't looked. They did change this a little bit too, you know, compared to. Just the round logo. They actually now do the, the baseball diamond. And they changed their logo. But they still have the color picture on the back. So nice. Gary Templeton for the Mets. Danny Nagel for the Twins. Mike Keith for the Braves. We've got another Brave here. Jeff Treadway. Now this is something new. Um, all the cards earlier than this, it was always portrait. This is the first one I've seen landscape on the back and then portrait on the front. I mean, landscape on the front, portrait on the back. So definitely is a new design. Adyohar Sedeño for the Astros. That's a formidable look right there. Mm -hmm. 
Stan Belinda for the Pirates. Charlie LeBrant for the Braves. Kevin Bass, sliding old school, not hands first. Of course, it looks like he's going to get out here. Uh, but Kevin Bass for the Giants. And we got a star rookie. Willie Banks for the Twins. Young Willie Banks. We got number 33 of 36, 1950s player of the decade. Let's see what this one may be. And it is Ted Williams. Very nice. Nice picture of Ted when he was, of course, he was always with in Boston. Not the auto, but still can't complain. It's amazing that there's actually 36. Remember with the uh, Nolan Ryan, there was 18. With Reggie, there's 10. So I guess this was part of the driving up to put in as many inserts with the highest numbers possible. And Delino De Shields with the Expos. That's a interesting look on him. Of course, again, it's another another landscape card. Portrait on the back, yeah. All right. Well, that was a fun open. I mean, obviously, we're going to be opening up a bunch more 1990s soon enough. Um, nothing, no big hit here. Of course, I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting anything super big in the, you know, it's not like you're going to get a chance for autos in these two pack, this pack. Um, kind of hoping for one here, but you know, that was always the problem. They, they made so many of these cards that it was very hard to actually get an autograph. which And people still find them. That's why they're worth as much as they're worth on eBay. So, appreciate you watching. Uh, obviously, we'll be opening up more cards. So, don't forget to hit the bell. Hit the subscribe. Helps me out. Let's me know how many people are actually interested in what I'm doing. If you got any feedback? Anything you'd like to see a little different? I'm still learning this one. So put comments in the below and i appreciate everybody watching thanks bye